Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex Trading. Creating this video, Damien Epi. Hi everyone, so here we are on the 13th January and I will just review the trade of the complete profile of last week. Swing trades and pending order. Let's start with the swing trade and we are on odd USD. So we switch on the 4 hour chart. First level is obviously broken, then we have a second level. We have a pin bar right here, middle of the pin bar, entry, stop loss and it's a winning beautiful trade. Odd CAD. Okay. Odd CAD we have one losing trade right here and below we have a doji, a hammer right here. Hammer is traded only with a breakout trade, so right here and it's two reward and it's a winning trade once again. Odd CHF. So what do we get? We get uh, doji right here didn't break up, so this trade was not triggered and after we have a pin bar and the pin bar 50% retracement entry is triggered and it's a winning trade with three reward. Odd New Zealand only one level right here so what do we get? We get this pin bar and this pin bar is a losing trade after we have a doji so this doji didn't break break up this second doji didn't break up so after we have a railroad track and the middle of the railroad track is an entry and it's another winning trade odd jpy pin bar retracement entry it's a buy and it's a huge win odd singapore we have uh, tac tac one pin bar right here and it's a losing trade Euro odd right here, pin bar, and uh, even if the retracement entry didn't trigger, the breakout did, and the two reward of the breakout is a winning trade also. So we have another trade with two reward on this. That's the only trade of the week. Now GBP odd. So GBP odd, we have this doji didn't break down second doji, third doji and this doji triggered right here so let me clean it and zoom in so you get a clear vision we trade the breakout of the doji only so first didn't trigger, second didn't trigger and third trigger stop loss above the high right here and this one is a winning trade two reward again it made three but the strategy gives you two now let's look at CAD, CHF, Singapore, GPY and Metals. So we are on a silver euro, no trade. Silver USD. There is a trade, a beautiful trade. Touch the level, retracement entry right here, stop loss right here and it's a three reward winning trade. Another one. Gold. Oh, gold breaks a lot of levels. What happened? So on Monday, on gold, we have this trade right here. There was a doji broken down. You could have taken this one. We eventually two reward, but it's a losing trade, so I don't count. I count it as a loss, sorry. And then you have a pin bar right here. Retracement entry of this pin bar right here is a winning trade, obviously. So one loss, one win. And after, what do we get? We get eventually this doji, if it was broken up, was an entry point to buy, but it didn't. And uh, after this price action is a bit messy, so you could eventually have entered a trade of this pin bar right here, retracement entry, stop loss below here, and this one is still running. And I would advise you place to break even, because the price is strongly against us right now. So there is no other trade to count right here. Now Singapore JPY, Singapore JPY, what do we get? We got this doji didn't break down and a second breakdown. So we have a trade and it's a losing trade. Only trade of the week. CHF Singapore, CHF Singapore, 
made a beautiful pin but very very big so eventually you could have entered and take lower profit on that like let's say one or two I don't count it to to see the worst case scenario but this was a nice trade just with two reward or 1.5 it was enough to take it CHF GPY so we are in a trade still because we have a doji right here broken down right here so stop loss right here and this one is running with a bit of a loss for now and still running so no win no loss on this chart didn't touch any level on cat gpy and cat chf the same okay so we are on euro sec and euro sec the chart is a bit messy so it made this but this is more doji didn't break down and after this one going up going down can be as a railroad track and the railroad track the breakout was right here stop loss right here and you will have taken eventually one reward 1.5 i don't count it or no i don't count it because uh, stop loss is not hit anyway still running trade and that's the only trade of the week for eurosec Euro Zara. Euro Zara, there is a beautiful pin bar right here, and this one was a retracement entry. You could have entered or eventually a bit higher in, inside the week, and it's a winning trade. With three reward. Euro Knock. Okay, Euro Knock, we have a pin bar, but it's very near the level, didn't break it, so I wouldn't have entered here. Euro Hong Kong. Okay, so what happened? We have a railroad track, but or we can eventually count this one as a loss. And after, what do we have? We have a pin bar, so it would have been eventually our second loss. And after, it made a doji broken up, but very wide, so it's still running. And since the candle is very big, you take one 1.5 reward maximum. So I count two losses and I don't count the win because it's still running Euro Singapore so we have a weaker level right here and it's triggered and it's running so there is no trade to count here Euro JPY uh, this one broken the level so after that I would not have taken it because the price is very far away from it and that's the only trade actually only levels that touch it made pin bar but it's very it didn't touch my entry, so I wouldn't have entered this one. Now Euro New Zealand. Didn't touch any level. Euro CHF. Okay, so this one. What do we have? A doji didn't break up, so no entry. And after we have a pin bar. Pin bar redressment entry. Uh, depending where was your stop loss might have been it. So there is one loss. And there is one redressment entry right here. Still running and with uh, one reward on average profit. So there is only one loss to count. I don't count the win, still running. Eurocad down. So Eurocad, the breakout didn't trigger on the next candle and the retracement entry didn't trigger because it's it didn't make 48% of the candle from here to here. So there is no trade actually right here. Euro USD. So Euro USD, we have a doji didn't broken up, a railroad track, this one trigger, it's a loss. And after we have another railroad track right here. So eventually one loss, uh, two losses, and that's it. Now let's look at GBP. So GBP knock, no level touch, DBP sec, no level touch, uh, GBP try the same, Euro GBP was near the level but didn't touch, no, didn't touch. GBP Singapore, no trade, GBP New Zealand, no trade, GBP GPY, no trade. JBP CAD no trade, JBP CHF no trade, and JBP USD no trade. New Zealand now, let's start with New Zealand USD. So New Zealand USD, we have a very beautiful winning trade. Pin bar, redressment entry, stop loss right here, and three reward largely met. Then New Zealand CAD. New Zealand CAD. Uh -huh. So what do we have? Uh, yeah, not really a pattern, so to enter it's complicated there. 
It, the level rejects very nicely, but it didn't produce any pattern to enter. So no trade. New Zealand, CHF. Uh, this one made a pattern. We have a very huge pin bar right here. Retracement entry. Ah, it triggers a retracement entry on the second but very far away right here. So eventually, and it made a railroad track right here with the body of the big candle like that. So you could eventually have entered the railroad track middle like that, which would have been a very nice, uh, beautiful trade, but the pin bar is so large that I admit I wouldn't have entered based on this candlestick specifically. I would have waited this one, which is a doji, and broken up. So this one is a winning trade with two rewards. That's uh, that's the only one you should have taken on this chart, since the pin bar is very very too much too much big. So it's another win with two reward. Now let's look at New Zealand JPY. What happened there? Eventually this one so made a pin bar, and you could have entered at the end of this pin bar since the pin is a bit less larger. And this one is a winning trade. After at the level we have a doji. Uh, didn't really broken down, so no entry right here, but this one dodgy broken down. And this one made only one reward, so it's a losing trade. So there is one win, one loss. Knock GPY, no trade, sec GPY. So same here, we have a very nice pin bar right here, you enter at the end of this pin bar, stop loss right here, and this one is a winning trade. After the level didn't touch, so there is no trade there. USD CAD. USD CAD. This doji, so at this level, this pin bar is a losing trade, then this doji didn't trigger, and this railroad track trigger. So we are in a trade with a bit less than one reward, and still running, and we have one loss completed. So I count on this loss. Now USD JPY. Well, same happen here. We have only this pin bar entry which is a winning trade going up. And after we are in a trade, still running. USD CHF. No trade. USD Singapore. No level touch, no trade. USD are same. USD Polonia. Uh, eventually we have a losing trade right here. Made a pin bar, retracement entry, stop loss around here, and this one is a losing trade. And uh, that's it. Yep. USD Danish Krona. There is no level touch. USD Ksech. Uh, we have eventually a losing trade right here. Pin bar, and this one didn't went out. But what happened just after is another pin bar right here, and this pin bar is a winning trade at the level. It was a fake out, so if you take both directions, you lose one, you win one. And you're still in profit since the reward is free reward. USD HUF, no trade. USD Mexican Peso. We have a trade based on this pin bar, and it's at break even right now. Not completed yet still running, we expect the price to rise up from there. Now USD CNH, touch the level just today right now, so let's see, do we have a 4 hour chart pattern? No, we don't have any candlestick yet to confirm it, so it's still running. And USD knock, uh, there is no trade. So the total is 12 win with 3 reward, which make it 36 reward, plus 4 win with 2 reward, which make 8, so 36 plus 8, 44 reward profits, and we have 12, 13 risk loss, which make a total of 31 reward profit, 62% profit for this week using this profile. Now let's look at the pending order. And let's try to get faster. So USD CNH, no trade. USD NOC before, no trade. USD Mexican Peso, no trade. USD HUF, same. USD XH, 
no trade usd danish krona no trade no level touch usd polonian no trade usd czar no trade usd singapore no trade usd chf no trade usd jpy inside the envelope uh, one two three four five and this level was outside the envelope but i think it's broken 28 and the stop loss would have been 17 18 so it's a losing trade one losing trade right here the usd cat the no trade we have a trade on sec gpy so sec gpy is the entry would have been right here stop loss would have been three pips and it made only 2.2 and it's a huge win trade then knock gpy no trade and the d jpy uh, we have one level right here but i think it's broke 31 pips yeah it's a losing trade new zealand chf this one was at the envelope we want outside so there is no trade new zealand cad inside the envelope no trade new zealand usd inside the envelope no trade so gbp i believe there was no trade the volatility was very slow on gbp last week so gbp usd no 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 yep no 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 and no no trade on gbp euro euro outside the envelope uh, no trade euro cad outside the envelope no trade euro chf same euro new zealand same euro gpy uh, no trade outside the envelope euro singapore this one is inside the envelope so no trade euro hong kong inside the envelope euro knock nothing euro czar ah euro czar we have a trade one trade right here and it's a winning trade uh, 34 against 41 and it would have been 60 pip stop loss so it's a good winning trade on euro czar now let's look at euro sec might have the same yeah euro sec it's a winning trade also stop loss would have been 180 and it made only 90 and it's a winning trade 600 plus so another winning trade on Eurosec. Now let's look at CAD, CHF, GPY, attack, CAD, GPY, no trade. CHF, GPY, inside the envelope, so no trade. CHF, Singapore. CHF, Singapore, there is no trade. This is inside the envelope, especially when it touch. It was a good win, but inside the envelope. This one is inside the envelope also gold our uh, gold what do we have we have a trade on monday and this would have been 60 pip stop loss so it's a huge win and we have eventually one loss right here so we have one win one loss on gold silver we might have a trade right here 20 pips uh, i'm it's a losing trade my stop loss was a bit tight and uh, silver euro we don't have a trade so let's look at odd pair to finish so gbp odd inside the envelope no trade outside euro odd euro odd this trade was an ass trade actually Tac. and it's a beautiful winning trade touch the level right here made only 16 pips the stop loss would have been 28 and it's a huge win odd singapore no trade outside the envelope just confirm here yeah odd gpy okay so there is a trade we might have one loss uh, 20 pips here yeah, we have one loss and the second level is a win so one loss one win since we have three reward still in profit of four percent for this it's good so this one is inside the envelope so no trade odd chf um, we might have one loss i think yeah we have one loss 
on OCHF. So, so far, 6 wins, 6 losses. Odd the cad, we have one loss with the white line and we have one win with the yellow line. So, one loss, one win, still up 4% on this pair. It's perfect. And odd the USD, we have a beautiful outside the envelope trade right here. And it's a huge win. So the pending order we have 8 win times 3 reward, so 24 reward, and we have 7 loss, so 24 minus 7, 17 reward profit times 2%, 34% profit for the pending order for the week. The swing trade made 62% profit, so 62 plus 34 equal 96% potential profit for the profile for the week. Have a nice day, see you next week. We are already at the end of the video. Subscribe for updates. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. Comment below if you want to give me your feedback or if you want a video on a specific topic. I propose a free mentorship with access to more than 30 pairs analyzed weekly and real-time trading alerts. You can join by my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. If you want to learn how to analyze the market on your own and become a professional profitable trader, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option, one on forex. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market through ECN Law Spread and Commission regulated in Australia. Their link is below. I wish you success in trading, see you soon!